what's going on guys today I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on the Amazon Fire Stick with no PC necessary whatsoever I will also show you how to put this on your home screen without any issues at all alright so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go to search in our search we're going to type in E S we're going to go over to ES file manager We're going to download it. Once it's all done installing, we are going to open it up. So our next step is we're going to click Favorite. We're going to go to Add. In the path, we're just going to type in HTTP. Google.com. In the name, we're going to type in Google. We're going to click Add. I did pick Google because we're going to need Google to put the icon on the home screen. So we are going to go down now. And we're going to click Google. In the Google search bar, we're going to type in Cody. Now we're going to go down until we see Cody.tv. Underneath Cody.tv, there is a downloads link. All right, now that we're on the downloads page, we're going to go down until we see Android. And we are going to install the ARM. This process does take a couple minutes. Now we're going to click open file. And we are going to install Kodi. Once Cody's all done installing, we can open it to check if it's working. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. All right, so now if we press the home button, you will realize that Cody is not anywhere to be found on the home screen. And the only way you could find it is if you go to the settings, applications, manage installed applications. It's a whole process just to get there. So I found a simple solution, and that solution is Firestarter. And to get Firestarter, we're going to go back to ES File Manager. We're going to go back to the Google. And in Google, we're going to type in Firestarter APK. And we're going to click the second one. All right, so you will see that Firestarter 3.2.2 APK is the latest one. For some reason, however, it is difficult to get the ES File Manager browser to actually hover over the Firestarter APK link. But I did find an easy way to get to it. So what we're going to do is over here, if you hovered over the Sphinx O2 Firestarter, we're going to go right all the way till we get to the fork, and then we're going to go down. And that's the only way I found to get to it. Once you get to it, we're going to click OK. We're going to let it download. And we're going to open it. Here we are going to install it. We're going to click Next and Install. Once it is all done installing, we're going to press Open. As you can see, you have a new home screen which offers all the apps that you've downloaded from the Amazon store and all the apps that you sideloaded. So as you can see over here, if you go down, you can find Cody. If you do want to go back to the Fire Home, all you got to do is click the Fire TV Home, and you'll be back here. To get back to the other screen, you just press the Home button again. I did find, however, that all I cared about on this screen is Cody, so I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to show you how you can hide any apps that you don't want on this screen. So over here, we're going to go down to settings. We're going to go all the way down until it shows hidden apps. And we can hide any apps that we don't want. All right. Once they're all disabled, I can go back to apps and I can see all the ones that I want are there. And if I want to take it the next step further, 
I can make the app icons larger or smaller. You just got to put in a size between 0 to 200, and you can make the apps really big. I do like this way a lot better so that I can sideload any of the apps that I want, and it'll all appear here. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you did enjoy this video. And that's all for today, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to watch more on Cody.